Hi everyone, it's Shar from Teach with Shar, and I just want to show you um, how to organize your Google Classroom. Hopefully this won't take too long. I'm hoping for this to be a five minute video. So I've gotten several questions about how to keep your Bitmoji Classroom at the top so the kids aren't having to keep looking for it inside of your Google Classroom. Now, one thing that you can do always is over here on the right, these three dots, once you have several assignments, you can come here and click move to top. That's always an option. Honestly, I do not recommend that method. The reason being is because let's say we're now in November and you have maybe 20 plus assignments on Google Classroom, which I'm sure we will, but just to say, it's going to be hard for the kids to find that Bitmoji Classroom. Okay, especially if you're adding resources and other things, if you have discussion questions and all of that, plus your assignments, it's going to be really difficult for them to find things. And even you, for you to go in and move something to the top. So what I suggest doing is up here, go to your classwork um, tab, and you are going to create topics. Now you can create as many topics as you need to, depending on your class and what what you need. Um, you can title this virtual classroom and I'm going to add a couple of topics and you'll see why. I'm going to add math. I'm going to add science. ELAR which is English language arts and reading. And I'm going to add social studies. Am I missing anything? Elar also has writing. Okay, so once you have your topics, this is what it is going to look like on the student's view. Okay, now if you want something at the top, you need to put it at the top. Otherwise, this is how it's going to look. So you can actually move these around. So I'm going to drag this up to the top, just click and drag. I'm also going to add weekly agenda because I want my students to keep up with a agenda. So now that I've created a new topic, look what happened to my virtual classroom that was pushed down. So all you need to do after you add a new topic is just move that back to the top. Once you move it, it is going to stay like that. But every time you add a new topic, it's going to automatically go to the top. So whatever order you see it here, that is the order that you are going to see. Um, that is the order your students are going to see. Now, as far as keeping your Google Classroom at the top, all you need to do is use material. And, oh, excuse me. We're going to add. I'm going to link, actually. And so I'm going to go to my Google, I'm not going to go to my Google Drive. Excuse me. Let me go back. So I have that link already, so I'm going to open it from here. Copy it. I just didn't want to go through my Google Drive because there's too much on there. So go back to Classwork, um, Virtual Classroom create material, add link, post your link there, and then this is your Bitmoji class. Uh, visit this link for the main virtual classroom. Okay, now, do you can't go ahead and just hit post because if you hit post, you're going to have to use that first method where you're going to have to keep dragging it back to the top. You need to come over here to where it says topic and no topic. You need to actually click and go to virtual classroom and then post. Now your students will see this here. If you don't add anything else, it'll stay there. If you add something else to, your, um, to this topic, then you're going to have to come in here and move this around again. So if you only, if you want to separate your classrooms, you can. 
or if you have a class that has different links within it and they can get to your other classes or your other Bitmoji classes that way, you can do it that way as well. And then of course, it'll update the students on their stream. This is just sort of like their Facebook feed pretty much and they'll see this here. And then now we can click it and see that it works. And everything is ready, ready to go. So I hope that helps. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. If you have a request for a video tutorial, please um, just send me a message and I'll get to you as quickly as possible. Sorry this took so long. My uh, son's birthday was last week and then I was having to do a lot of prepping for um, this school week since this is my first week back. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.